Well, I guess the first question, the first question on everybody's mind is going to be, what is this on here? I want you guys to explain to me how you would pronounce that. Is it tour or tour? Tour or tour guide? It's a tour guide. Me and my girlfriend have been having this argument for I don't know how long, but it's a tour guide. Can you guys help me out on this? I don't know what it is about my girlfriend and tour, but it's tour guide. It's not tour guide. I'm not going on a tour. I'm going on a tour. But that's a conversation for another day. The one thing I wanted to talk about is hard work and the encompassing feelings along hard work. And I want to tell you one thing before we start that my whiteboard is not very secure on there. So if it falls down, I apologize. You might witness history and see this thing fall down and rip a piece off the wall, which I hope is not the case. But hard work and how do you continue to work hard and what is hard work? And you know, how do I work 16 hours a day? And how do I keep work fun? How do I kind of put on my blinders and keep working? <clears throat> this is a conversation I wanted to have for a tiny bit just because hard work is something that I grew up on or actually hard work is something let me reframe that hard work is something that I grew into I didn't grow up on I was always one and I was and I know you guys have heard this I was lazy and fat and if this is the case for you you know it's not a good sign because it's never gonna work you know hard work doesn't come from lazy and fat hard work comes from discipline and strong and I came from a place where I was really young and um, I didn't know how to work hard. I didn't want to work hard. I didn't know how to go about certain things. And I didn't think that hard work was for me because I was lazy. I had thought that everything should come to me regardless. I thought that nothing good came from hard work. I didn't like putting in effort. And that's what led to me becoming lazy and fat. You know, over time, lazy and fat came from doing that. Uh, but hard work, you know, how, do, how can I work 16 hours a day? How can I make work fun? How can I continue to work when I don't want to? You know, it all stems from a drive. And I think this is the thing that people get wrong about hard work is that they don't have a drive behind whatever they want to do. They don't know why and the what's and the how's because interestingly enough, it's said that if you don't know what you want to go after, how are you ever going to go after it? You know, you have to have a reason behind why you want to do it. There's a reason you clicked on this video and it's probably because you like to work hard or you want to learn more about working hard, but how does it all start? What's the tipping stone? What's the pyramid? What's the base of the pyramid so we can work our way up? And it's all about drive. It's all about these little few things under drive is how bad and the why. You know, for instance, a lot of people don't know how bad or why they want it. You can see the people that are truly successful, maybe like yourself, or maybe like you're going to be after watching this video, you know, what is the why? Have you asked yourself why you wanted to start this? Have you asked yourself, what is the reason that I'm going after this certain thing? Because if you haven't asked yourself that question, how are you ever going to come to realize what you want to do and where you want to go? Because that why solves all the answers right there. Why I want to do it, the reason that I'm doing it, how I'm going to get there. Because when you have the reason why, it's like that building block, that foundation for you to get up to that next level. For instance, the why that I keep doing this is because I want to retire my mother. My mother's gone through some financial burdens and it's very hard as a son to look your mother in the eye as she's sitting there crying, telling you her financial situations. It's very displeasing, but that's the drive. That's the reason why I want to be able to retire my wife. I want to be able to retire my, my, my father and my mother and my sister. I want to be able to be financially free. I want to travel the world. I want to meet all of you. And that's the reason I do this. And the reason that I keep being able to work these 16 hours or 20 hours and not 20 hours, that's a bit much, but these 14, 16 hour days is because my why is strong enough. And then it goes into the conversation of how bad do you want it? Some people just don't want it bad enough. And if you're one of those people who kind of mediocrely wants it, you know, is just lukewarm about it, that's fine. Because I was like that before I started this and really diving into the deep, the deep end, I was just kind of dipping my toes into the water and that's perfectly fine as long as you start see if you are if your how bad is kind of so so like a 50 percent if it's like that that's okay it doesn't have to be serious it just means that you take action because 50 percent doesn't mean you take inaction 50 percent means that you're still on the fence but you're willing to take action what we don't want is you diving below this threshold of like 35 percent wanting it or 20% wanting it. Because if you're in this 20% wanting it, you're not gonna wanna start. Like, let's be honest here for a second. The reason most people are successful is because they started when nobody else wanted to start. Hard work, how do you want it? What's your drive? What's keeping you? What's your whys? What's your how bads? How are you gonna work 16 hour days? Are you lazy or fat? That's just all the encompassing ideas that I wanted to talk about. One thing people forget to think about too is what they can do when it goes to work. And I like the way Andrew Tate put this. If you ever heard Andrew Tate's story about the Ferrari and how he saw a Ferrari driving past him, and he was very disappointed and angry that he didn't have a Ferrari because he thought that he didn't know something and his friends didn't care, is use your pain slash hurt to propel you forward. This is a very big driving factor for a lot of people. Half the reason I was so successful in losing the weight that I had 
was because of this pain and hurt, was because of the reasons I was, half of the reason I was able to lose so much weight was because of the pain and hurt that I was dealing with, was because that I didn't want to go out there and do certain things in my past, but now I was doing them and I remember how people treated me. I remember how people, people talked to me a certain way. I remember how people looked at me a different way and now people are coming to me saying, oh, you're so cool, Zach, you're different. You know, I want to kind of be friends with you and I didn't like that. I let my pain and hurt drive these 16 hours a day. I let these pain and hurt drive my hours at the gym. Right? People don't realize that that anger you have is a superpower. You know, I don't like the idea of anger being used for things that it shouldn't be, but it can be a superpower. Do you have anger? What's the reason you're angry? Are you angry because your father left you or your mother left you? <laughs> Are you angry because you're overweight and you're tired of being overweight? Are you angry because your girlfriend cheated on you or maybe your boyfriend cheated on you or whatever it is? What's the anger? What's driving you? Because this anger, if you go on this track, can lead into the reason why. And it can lead into the reason how bad. Anger kind of stems from or, or is, a, is a factor in a lot of things. And people don't think about this, is that people always try to suppress anger, which I am for in some regards. But I do think anger, when leading into pain and hurt, really fuels people's drive to work, really fuels people's energy to go out there and do a certain thing. So if you have anger, please use it. I'm not saying use it for the benefit of hurting somebody else. I'm saying use it for the benefit of pushing yourself to the next level, pushing yourself to become the better version of yourself, pushing yourself to become the idea of yourself because without any of that you're not going to become anything use the anger inside you have you been cheated on have you don't you don't have the money you want you're not at the place in life where you want to be everybody around you is successful and you're not you see one of your friends who's less talented than you making it in the world you see people hanging out with celebrities and you want to be there and you don't have the money or whatever it is use the anger that you feel use the anger the rage inside let the rage build up let this ever-burning flame this ever-burning fire light up in your stomach and let it transfer into your brain. Let it transfer into all your actions. Because if you ever met somebody who's so intensely angry at the world that he puts all his effort and all his, his work into work, all this anger fuels into this work and it's one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in my life. It's even better than semen retention. If you can fuel the anger of why you're not there, of how angry you are, and you can use it towards work, something productive, not something improductive, use it towards work, my, my, my. I don't think you realize how strong that is. I don't think you realize how impactful it is to be able to use your anger to work. I don't think you understand that that anger inside of you that's been itching to get out for all this time is incredibly beneficial. Understand that anger is an encompassing emotion. Anger is one of the top emotions. Used in the right way, it'll change your life, I'm telling you right now. Half the reason I'm able to continue to do this is because I'm angry. I'm angry that I see other people successful. I'm angry that I'm not at the place I want. I'm angry that my mother's in the situation she is. But I'm using that anger in a productive manner to get to work these 16 hours a day and be able to work outwork every single person. Understand that it's all fueled by certain things. The reason I was so lazy and fat and I was able to come out and be skinny and strong was because I was angry. I was tired of where I was at. Use the anger. Stop letting the anger overtake you, but channel it and harness it. Have you ever watched Naruto for all you weebs out there? What did Naruto do? He couldn't understand Kurama. He didn't get it. But what happened when he got it? Holy crap. He channeled Kurama and became a freak of nature. One thing to take in consideration is people won't understand you, okay? Won't understand. This is a big idea, okay? People will understand the drive and passion you have towards working as something that seems unachievable to them or seems ridiculous or ludicrous or outlandish or absurd. Think about it, for instance, if you wanna become a social media influencer and you wanna become somebody who's willing to go to conferences or you wanna become somebody who's paid from day trading or you wanna become somebody who's paid by reading books, whatever it is, whatever you wanna become, People aren't going to be able to understand why you're working so much because they realize that they tried once when they were a kid and they're going to project on you and say that you can't do it. As much as it sucks, as much as it's hard to realize that people aren't going to like you working very hard, it's okay. 
because there's a very niche group of people out there who want you to succeed and understand why you're working so hard. This doesn't have to be a story for everybody else. People think that working hard is this badge of honor. People think working hard is this thing that everybody should come to do. And while it's not something that I wanna preach on you, it's something I wanna show you and how beneficial it can be in your life because it's gonna take you to that place that you wanna be. What I would argue is the promised land. I'm gonna put the sun here. This is where you wanna be. And hard work is probably gonna get you there but how do I get there is the thing. People don't understand. People are gonna to try to tell you that you shouldn't be doing this. People are gonna to try to tell you that you're crazy. People are gonna to try to tell you to stop working hard. People are gonna tell you that you shouldn't be ever going after this because it's gonna to lead to financial ruin or you're not gonna be successful because you're nobody or you can't talk, you stuttered, you were fat, you're lazy, you're never gonna be skinny, whatever it is. People are always gonna find some excuse to tell you not to work hard and that's okay, shut them up. It was told, let your actions speak louder than your words, not your words speak louder than your actions. Understand that. Let your actions speak louder than your words and work the time. Stop letting your actions speak louder than your words. Stop letting people dictate how you work in life. Stop letting people say that you shouldn't be working that long. You're crazy. Stop getting up so early. Stop staying up so late. Why is he doing this? Understand that if people are are not understanding you because you're working so much. People can't understand you doing this for a living. People can't understand you making money. People can't understand you for having this dream, for wanting to work hard, for wanting to attain all your goals, for wanting to retire whoever it is, for wanting to have financial security, for wanting to have financial freedom, for wanting to become the idea of yourself that you see through everybody else and nobody else can see, that you have visions of every night. Understand, when people don't like that, good job, great job, you're on the right path, because people hate it when they see themselves in you. People hate it when they realize that they tried and they couldn't succeed because they did not have enough anger. They did not have enough pain and hurt. They did not have enough drive. Their, their why wasn't strong enough. The how bad wasn't strong enough because they were down in the 20 to 10%. They figured they tried for a week and then they gave up. Listen, get past the terrible threes. I termed it the terrible threes, the three weeks, the three months, <laughs> and the three days. <laughs> get past this. Get past this and you succeed. Hard work. Are you going to work hard? Or are you going to sit there and pretend like it's all fun and games? Hopefully you got something out of this. I appreciate you guys for sticking around for this long. I know it's a bit different from my style of videos. But I, I saw you how you guys appreciated the other one. So here we are. I'm still recording. Thanks, guys.